Hi, it's Susie from Now for Education, and today I'm going to do a black polish with tiny silver caviar or beads. I really like these. Instead of a very quilt fashion without the quilt. Looks really cool. Let's get started. Okay, so I tend to shake them. I know you're supposed to roll them, they say, but I have no patience with it. And I'm gonna put two coats of the black on it for the real density of color. Black can be so elegant. You can check out my video on how to polish professionally too for a few tips. I paint the ends, especially when it's a dark color. Because if they're going out one night for a, and they hold a glass of wine, it looks very sophisticated to see the ends painted rather than they just look kind of messy. It just looks really nice. It's a very professional touch. If I get any on my finger, I just use my other hand <laughs> to clean it. Or you can dip a cuticle stick in remover. It's also very effective. If your polish is acting a little dry too, a little stiff, this one is a little bit, you can cheat a little and use nail polish remover. Give it a good shake. And then it'll flow on much more fluid. Don't forget to paint those ends. I do it before the second coat, so if there's any roughness from doing this, you'll paint over it and smooth it over on the second coat. Okay, we're almost done. Okay now for the design part. Now I'm going to put these little caviar beads on individually placed on in a very specific pattern. But before I do, I'm going to paint each and every nail with clear so that the beads are actually falling onto the clear layer and not going to make a dent into my black layer. But I found getting a paper towel with these little dents in them helps separate the beads. So I literally pour the beads out on my paper towel and it kind of helps separate them a little so they're easy to get with my little dotting tool, okay? This is a very fine tip dotting tool. But how I get that is by using the clear too. So I'll show you. So I'm gonna put a clear layer of polish over top of my black, thickish, actually quite thick. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of the clear dotted on here. Now it dries up kind of quick because of the lights that I've got, but hopefully you won't have these lights when you're when you're doing it. So you want to take a little dot in there, pick up a little bead, put it in the very center, at least the pattern that I'm doing. Sometimes you do it every time, sometimes not. That one's quite a bit bigger. These are supposed to be all the same. Now my pattern is straight down the line. I'm gonna do another straight line, but offset it to this one. So sort of if I was drawing a triangle from this one to this one to this one to this one. It's a triangle pattern. So it's a bunch of beads, but very strategically placed. I want that quilt pattern without the quilt dent. You can lick it too, like on your tongue and dip it, but if you're doing a client, that probably wouldn't be acceptable. When you're doing it yourself, it's fine. There, got two. I think I forgot to clear coat that way. <laughs> Good thing the black polish was still wet, but if I kept going, it wouldn't be wet enough to stick. Spread those little beads out because they're kind of gathering together. 
These are super tiny ones. I don't even know where I got them. Get your top coat like I just did. I'm gonna put it on my thumb. Make a pretty good thick top coat. And a little dot on the table somewhere. Ooh, I had two in one grab. That was fine. These are so tiny. Okay, you can top coat them just for extra security. Let's do that and see what that looks like. Yeah, it's just gonna smooth it over a little bit. I hope you like the reveal pictures. So putting an extra top coat on it will help it be more secure in between visits to your salon and you can recommend that for your clients too. Okay, until next time, uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.